Ahoy, ye mateys! Welcome back to the 44th episode of my full game walkthrough, which is also the 25th episode I'm filming on my Buccaneer. Last episode, we started working on collecting the 5 turtle balls that are required to summon the great turtle Marozame so that we can consult the sage who lives on that turtle who can translate the markings on Marco Polo's map. It is likely that the armada are also looking to consult that sage, so we are hoping to find the armada by doing that. The first holder of the turtle ball was Monkey King, who agreed to give us his turtle ball if we can break him out of his prison where he was sentenced to 10,000 years uh, for his mischief. But in order to get him out of the prison, we need his golden staff, which is held by Dragon Prince. So now we are on Dragon Prince's quest to get a jade egg in exchange for this golden staff that we seek. The gates are locked and the place is overrun with Tengu. Perhaps that fellow there in the white blanket. <laughs> white blanket. <laughs> Spirit change. <laughs> Greetings, honorable visitor from a far off land. Could you perhaps make a charitable donation to the altar of the White Lotus? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. I am an auxiliary member of the Order of the White Lotus, an order of monks devoted to studying the mysteries of the Titans. <laughs> Tango goblins have invaded the oh. Valley of the Titans, and they called forth the greatest threat to all. Stormzilla. <laughs> Due to the Tengu and the giant monster, we can no longer access the temple. My order has sought refuge in a cave not far from here. Speak to Master Lee Hark there. <laughs> That's funny, Stormzilla. Wow. Is that food on the table? <laughs> I think it's for spirits. We are the Order of the White Lotus. <laughs> History has shown again and again how nature points out the folly of mortals. And we are living in such a lesson. Our studies were disrupted by the Tengu who brought with them the scourge of cities, Stormzilla. In our most ancient scrolls, it is written that a stranger will come and pilot Stupendor X. Wondrous vessel of the titans forged in Shangri-La to victory. <laughs> and I suppose I'm that stranger. You, young pirate, are the prophesied one. What an honor. Go to Stupendor X. Take control of it and rid the valley of the titans of Stormzilla. <laughs> Stormzilla is a reference to Godzilla. <laughs> And I guess after we help this village, they will help us find the jade egg. There's the stupender X. Just to be sure, we are <laughs> a huge suit of armor to fight a giant electric lizard. <laughs> I did not sign on for this. Well, me neither. Let's take this monster down a notch. <laughs> Who wants to live forever? <laughs> oh, get all these special cards. 25% accuracy for 10 rounds, why not? Our range is so short. I suppose we should break this egg before it hatches. Okay, do we have a guaranteed hit? Rocket punch. Oh, but it's an area hit. Oh, 
Guaranteed critical strike. And it summons another egg. Uh, just no, we can't target that egg. It's all adjacent enemies. Um, let's just do a basic hit then. Targeting those houses. Another egg. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a better option to just hit. Especially while we still have the accuracy up. Can this... no. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity for Iris. Oh, we got a critical. Drain health. Three hundred and fourteen. Oh, it all it does is reduce the movement. This should finish it. 
<laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay, now we gotta go back and talk to the monks. It looks like this part of the wall was smashed in during our scuffle. Onward to the J Day! <laughs> oh, it's overrun by Tengu. So I guess we gotta fight our way through them. Welcome, Mortimer. Level 43, Tengu Sorcerer, Mojo Echo 2. Um, yeah, this is not gonna help. So I'm gonna discard that. Only the shields from the Privateer class can block magic damage, like Valor's Shield and Valor's Fortress. For non-Privateers, Valor's Fortress is only available through special equipment. But everyone can train Valor's Shield. But yeah, so our strategy for this uh, matchup is really just to do as much damage as possible because Witch Doctors have high damage output but very low strain. So I'm gonna put on another strength buff and then chain like crazy. By the way, this weapon that I have it was from farming on one of my other max characters. It's from Friar Sand. <laughs> the animation is pretty cool. Oh gosh. Every one of them can chain Mojo Echo three times per round, which is really annoying. Alright. Gonna just take out this one, and then I'll Bladestorm on the other one so you guys can come here. Come on, no relentless. I have double strength buffs up. Okay, the bunny, can you double tap on this? Yeah, thank you. There we go. There we go. We fought our way through them, and we're gonna collect this jade egg. Dragon King, if not tell us all there was to know, this jade egg, it is alive. Huh. Dragon 
Dragon King, we got your egg for you. My jade egg. I had lost all hope. You have answered my challenge and restored that which is most precious to me. I honor our bargain. Here is the golden staff. A bit of history first. I made this staff long ago to control both sea and sky. Monkey King tricked it away from me. I see. You will no doubt return it to Monkey King. A course of action I advise against. He is nothing but trouble. Well, I kind of have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> So back to Monkey King we go. Monkey King, we've brought your staff. Now give us your turtle ball. My golden staff, freedom. Good job, pirate. Why the hero, yes. Well, I must be going. What? The turtle ball, of course. Oh, I'll be happy to give it to you. I rolled it into that cave over there. M meet me inside. Hmm. That seems suspicious. Do you really think I would surrender my turtle ball to someone as gullible as you? Good luck against my doppelgangers. Oh, dang. <laughs> doppelgangers. There's four of them. Repulse 2, Bladestorm, and Relentless 2. Level 44, 43. Oh my goodness. My units are level 42. Okay. Reduce all of your dodge. Can you get some critical vengeance strikes real quick? Oh, come on. You had increased accuracy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the level advantage that they have is making a difference. Alright, hit me. Trigger my vengeance. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Let's actually use this. The doppelganger bows. <laughs> Go, Mortimer. Okay, now that we've messed up and failed to get the turtle sure ball. Pants, please. Who saw that coming? <laughs> Let's see what Shunzang the Wise had to say in his sealed scroll. He should have seen that coming. Fair point. Pirate, if you are reading this, Monkey King has betrayed you. Return to the Temple of Eternal Serenity at once. Shunzang. Wonder what that's all about. It's good. <laughs> If he foresaw this, why did he send us on this adventure? Shenzhen, what is this all about? I could not have warned you of Monkey King's treachery. Had you suspected him, he never would have cooperated. Okay. My hope was that he had reformed, but apparently he is unchanged. And you didn't foresee that? There is one way to control Monkey King. I was loath to use it, but he has given us little choice. The crown of command. You must travel to the Shadow Fortress and put the crown of command into Monkey King's golden helmet. When he reclaims his armor, and do not think any force can stop him from doing so, Monkey King will be ours to control. Huh. To get to the armor, you must defeat Kirigi, Lord of the Shadow Fortress, a powerful and terrifying ninja pig. I will alert your next of kin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we gotta chase down Monkey King and get that turtle ball back. Okay, we gotta go find Monkey King's armor and slip the crown of control into it.
Say something, curse you. <laughs> what is it with your ninjas? <laughs> They're silent ninjas. I said, now you die. <laughs> oh wow, it actually said something. <laughs> Ninja pig clan lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Take that critical vengeance strike, white scorpion. Yeah, there we go. That's annoying. Two eighty four. to know enough we must find our way to monkey king's golden armor if i know anything about secret hideouts there will be a concealed door somewhere near perhaps under that statue <laughs> Taken for doing evil deeds. 
<laughs> All right, guess we're not taking the gold. It is crown of command. You will escape monkey's notice. Crown will control the monkey king Shenzhen says. Shenzhen, we did as you said. We put the crown of command in monkey king's armor. Excellent. You are right on time. Let me teach you the phrase that activates the crown of command. The words will make the crown constrict, squeezing Monkey King's head and forcing him to submit. We have little time. Monkey King is on his way, and here he is. Oh. What's this? We were friends, Shunzang, and now you conspire <laughs> against me. Oh well, time to put this pirate out of my misery. He's wearing the golden armor. Monkey King, you disappoint me. The crown of command prevents you from harming this pirate. A crown? I'm not putting <laughs> that thing on. Too late, monkey. Look up. How do you like them bananas? What? Say the words. Oh! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Oh, 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 that hurts! All right, all right, I surrender. I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> Oh yeah. With the Monkey King under your control, he will serve you well. The first service is for him to give you his turtle bowl. Yes. Funny thing, I don't have it. Are you serious? I loaned it to somebody. Hmm. Odd little guy. Showed up right after you left, pirate. He was looking for you. Why'd you give it to him and not to me? He wanted to fight you. I told him if he took the turtle ball, you'd seek him out. He gets rid of you, I take the ball back. All is well. Huh. Monkey King, how could you be so gullible? Oh, no. You're going to make me fight him, aren't you? Oh, all right. I'll take you to him. He's in a vortex not far from here. Hunting you, Captain? You don't suppose? Could it be the Armada? Of course it's the Armada, and of course we're one step behind again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Today, we completed a quest to return Monkey King's golden staff and free him from his prison, according to our agreement, but he betrayed us and did not give us his turtle ball, so we came back to Shunzang for advice, and we had to go and hide a crown of control in a suit of armor belonging to Monkey King. The armor was heavily guarded by a band of ninjas and we had to fight our way through a whole bunch of ninja pigs to get to the armor and put the crown of command in. So now, Monkey King is under our command and our first command was for him to give us the turtle ball, but as it turns out, when we were completing his quest for him, a representative from the armada came and Monkey King, the trickster, got tricked himself and gave the turtle ball to that armada representative. So we have to chase down the armada and recover the turtle ball, and that's where we'll pick up next episode. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next episode.